Hey everyone, welcome back to Alma Buckhead's uh, YouTube channel. Today for beverage, as promised, we are going to continue to talk about the Tequila 123 or Uno Dos Trace line. So last week we had discussed um, that this line was inspired and created by David Rivandi, who is actually a big wine enthusiast. So he had the wine enthusiast in mind when creating this line. So last week we discussed um, Uno, Dos, and Trace. Uno was the Blanco, Dos was the Repo, and Trace was the Añejo. Um, so if you remember, all of these bottles are um, hand-blown from recycled glass, recycled paper, and soy inks. Um, so this line is really all about um, sustainability and the environment. So today we're going to talk about um, these three. So we've got our Diablito here, which is... Um, Technically the fourth, but it's named Diablito instead of Quattro. Uh, Mezcal Craneo, and then um, Luchador Tequila. All right, so Diablito here is aged for 40 months. Um, so that's three years and four months, making it an extra Añejo versus a regular Añejo being aged for one, um, one to three years. So Diablito tequila here, it has a little devil um, on the bottle because that's what Diablito means, little devil. Um, this, tequila, uh, this tequila is actually extremely limited, um, so we got pretty lucky to get it. Um, the saying goes, in pursuit of perfection, it is said the devil is in the details. Um, so that was why they put the devil on there. Um, it also signifies absolute passion for perfection and devilishly good tequila. Um, so this is a very approachable extra Añejo. Um, the longer it sits in the barrels, the more it takes on the flavor of the barrel. Um, so this one was actually um, aged in oak barrels. Um, there's not stipulations for tequila, so they can actually be aged in oak barrels, ex-bourbon barrels, um, basically whatever whatever barrel. Um, so this one, the flavor profile, um, is going to be on the sweeter side. So vanilla, stewed agave, cinnamon, toasty oak flavors. Um, and then it kind of finishes out with a little bit of um, orange zest and dill, a little bit of minerality. So that's Diablito, Little Devil, um, the fourth in the tequila line, Extra Añejo. Um, next is going to be El Luchador, which on the bottle is a luchador. Um, so this one was inspired by the famed masked wrestlers of Mexico. So this tequila is actually 110 proof. It is our highest proof tequila and it is one of the, um, the highest proofs in the world. Um, it doesn't really taste um, like it's high proof. It is very good. It goes down um, very easily. Uh, super silky. Um, so rich and powerful in flavor, but also silky with notes of um, nougat, coconut, and agave flavors. And then um, this one kind of finishes with um, that white pepper, lemongrass, and a very soothing mint. Um, so really good for a high proof tequila. That's the El Luchador. And then we've got the Craneo Mezcal. So this is the only Mezcal that they are producing at the moment. Um, I would highly recommend it to anybody that has not had Mezcal before and they're looking to try something new or if somebody really enjoys Mezcal and they don't want that, um, that huge smoke bomb. So this is 100% Espadine, which uh, will typically be the most approachable uh, Mezcal. And this was inspired by the celebration of life, uh, created single estate um, artisanal mezcal in Oaxaca. Um, so on there you see the skull. So the sacred skull on the bottle was inspired by the Aztec goddess Meek Tika Wall, the guardian of bones, which symbolizes strength and influence. Um, so this one is also going to be very light and silky in body with flavors of orange and grapefruit peel, uh, green banana, and a little bit of uh, minerality in the finish. Um, and that is going to complete the Tequila 1, 2, 3 line. We do carry the whole line. So Uno Dos Tres, Blanco, Reposado, and Añejo. Uh, Diablito here being the extra Añejo. Uh, Luchador is going to be um, the 110 proof um, Blanco tequila, and then the Craneo Mezcal, which is 100% Espadine, very approachable. And that's all I have for you all today. Thank you all for watching, and next week we are going to talk about the Oaxaca Mezcal line. All right, see you all next week.